Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News, and today we're going to be upgrading my portable PC to Ryzen 7 using the 1800X. So let's get going. So starting with the board change, I'm switching to the X370 GTN by Biostar. I'm adding the Risen 7 1800X to this board. And then I have two adapters here, a Wi-Fi one that is a 450 megabit per second connection and a Bluetooth 4.0 adapter. Then I also have two DIMMs of 32 gigabytes HyperX RAM and then an AM4 upgrade kit for the C1 cryo rig cooler I have. So let's get started on this upgrade. Let me take off this side panel real quick, which just requires these four screws. Then let me get this little portable PC plaque out and remove the C1 cooler. Again, this is just four screws that removes the fan. And then the cooler has two big screws underneath, which is what takes it off of the bracket. And let me get this out of my way. Nice dirty CPU down there. And let me remove the bracket for the C1. Might need some of these parts. Okay, so now I just need to unwire everything. Then I should be able to pull out the Asus Z270i, which is the mini ITX Strix board. Okay, 24 pin. And now I just need to take off these antennas and unscrew the motherboard. Oh, and don't forget to unplug your little USB dongles. And I'm also upgrading the SSD here. I didn't mention it before, but I'm adding a 960 gigabyte SSD as one will be my work SSD now and one will be made for my Next Tech News SSD. Okay, so starting with this Biostar board, let's go ahead and get the 32 gigs of RAM in here and then install the AM4 CPU, which is the Risen 7 1800X. All you have to do is you lift up the arm and then you set down the 1800X in the correct location. There'll be an arrow in the top left corner there. And then you just lower that arm and that will tighten down the socket onto the CPU. Then you just need to remove this stock bracket by removing these four screws. All right, so now I just need to add these little screws for the new bracket and set down the new bracket, tighten it down with these nuts. And let's try to clean up this wire management in a little bit so we can get it in here. Okay, so let's connect everything up. We got the four pin connector and the 24 pin connector. And let's connect some of the SATA up, connect the front IO, as well as the USB 3.0 connector. And as you can see, I accidentally already screwed down the board without putting the NVMe drive in. I accidentally left the NVMe drive in the ASUS Z170i motherboard. So I had to remove that, take the Biostar board off just so I could put the NVMe drive back on the back side of the board, which is where it belongs on this board. Once I was finished putting the NVMe back in, all I had to do was install the IO shield and push this right back into the case and then screw down the motherboard. Then all I needed to do was plug in the USB 2.0 splitter with the two adapters on it, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth adapter, and then I just wired them to the top of the case. So there are no longer antennas on this case anymore, and that's really nice for slipping it in and out of my backpack now. Now all the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is internal. And then the last thing to do is just apply the thermal paste and then reattach the C1 cooler to the new AM4 bracket. So now my computer is completely upgraded with the Ryzen 7 1800X. It's probably a completely overkill processor for this computer, but the reason I chose it is because like I've said in previous videos, the whole goal of this build is to make the most powerful portable PC I can possibly make. And right now in the mini ITX form factor, the Ryzen 1800X is about the most powerful processor I could possibly fit in this computer so that's the reason why I chose that and also if you guys were wondering why it's all open right now this no longer fits I'm gonna have to recut this 
because obviously the Intel board socket is in a different spot than the socket for the AM4 board. So this is gonna have to be recut. I'm probably gonna reprint it and do a new design on it anyways. And then obviously this has to be recut as well because again, the socket's not in the same spot. But luckily when I ordered this one, I ordered two of these, so I'll be able to recut it. And this wasn't as good of a cut as I truly, truly wanted. So now I'll cut it a little bit better now that I kind of know the way I need to be cutting it. Other than that, I hope you guys liked this video. If you didn't, just kidding. I, I really like this shirt and I know a lot of people are going to ask, but that's, that's what this shirt does. But anyways, again, if you guys want to help me out at all, uh, I have a Patreon link down below, or you can always try the Amazon links. Those all help me out in some way for this channel. And honestly, either way, this content will always be here for you guys. Hope you guys like this video. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!